In this video, I introduce an amazing strategy that has had excellent results in short-term and long-term backtesting. As you know, creating a trading strategy that works well in the long term is very difficult. In addition, the trading commission eats up a large amount of trading profit, especially in lower time frames. But in the strategy that I introduce, considering the trading commissions, excellent results will be seen in the short term and long term backtest. First, I explain the strategy, then I code it step by step in Pine script. After that, I will backtest it using the trading view strategy tester in the long term. So don't miss this video and watch it till the end, and get to know this strategy and its results in a 2 year backtest. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and click the bell icon, so you don't miss the next videos. Well, first I explain the strategy. I choose Ethereum Classic and go to the 3 minute time frame. The first indicator I need is Bollinger Bands. I add it to the chart from the list of indicators. In the indicator settings, the length must be changed to 50. I change basic moving average type to RMA. And source to HLC3. And from the style section, I uncheck the first item, which is basis. For more clarity, I make the lower and upper bands of Bollinger Bands thicker. I also add two simple moving averages to the chart. One with a length of 20, and another with a length of 200. So I change the length of the first one to 20, and the time frame to 1 hour. And for the second moving average, I change its length to 200, and its time frame to 1 hour. These two should have two different colors. It is better for the first to be white, and the second to be red. The next indicator we need is stochastic. I add it to the chart from the list of indicators. K length should be changed to 30. and K smoothing should be changed to 3, and D smoothing to 5. The last indicator we need is RSI. I change the length to 12, and the source to OHLC4. I also change the time frame to 1 hour. And finally, from the style section, RSI based MA should be unchecked. The chart is now complete. Now I explain the rules for opening the long and short positions. We enter a long position if these conditions are met. 1. The 20 period moving average must be above the 200 period moving average. 2. RSI must be greater than 50. 3. The last candle must be closed below the lower band of Bollinger Bands. 4. Stochastic K-Line must be above the D-Line. 5. D-Line value must be smaller than 25. In this situation, we can open a long position. And we exit the long position when one of the following conditions is satisfied. 1. When a candle closes above the upper band, and RSI is above 50. 2. When we receive a short signal. 3. When the price drops by 2% from the entry price. 
and the rules for opening a short position. 1. The 20 period moving average must be below the 200 period moving average. 2. RSI must be less than 50. 3. The last candle must be closed above the upper band of Bollinger Bands. 4. Stochastic K-line must be below the D-line. 5. D-line value must be greater than 75. We exit the short position when one of the following conditions is satisfied. 1. When a candle closes below the lower band, and RSI is less than 50. 2. When we receive a long signal. 3. When the price is 2% higher than the entry price. Now we need to code this strategy in Pine Script, so that the complications are reduced, and we can easily receive the buy and sell signals automatically. So I go to the Pine Editor and open the new strategy. A name for the strategy must be chosen. The first indicator we need to include in the strategy is Bollinger Bands. So, I use Bollinger Bands source code, and copy and paste it into the strategy code. I also add two simple moving averages to the source, one with a length of 20, and one with a length of 200. We make it possible, that the length can be changed through the strategy settings. The next indicator we need is stochastic. We should use stochastic source code, and copy and paste it into the strategy code. And the last indicator that we must add to the source is RSI, which exists as a function in Pine Script. Its length should be 12. Coding of indicators was done. Now we have to code the rules for entering long and short positions. The first condition was that the 20 period moving average should be above the 200 period moving average. Also, the RSI must be greater than 50. The next condition was that the last candle must close below the lower band of the Bollinger Bands. The K-line of stochastic indicator must be above the D-line. And finally, D-line value must be less than 25. The conditions for entering a short position are the opposite of the conditions for entering a long position. So we enter the short position, when the 20 period moving average is below the 200 period moving average. RSI is less than 50. The last candle is closed above the upper band. The stochastic K line is below the D line. And finally the D line is greater than 75. Now, the way to exit the open positions should be coded. The conditions for exiting the positions were mentioned at the beginning of the video, which can be easily coded. We should also have a stop loss to avoid large losses in trading. I consider the stop loss as 2%.
In fact, when the current price differs from the entry price by 2% in the opposite direction of the position, we close the position. Now, I save the changes and open the strategy tester. But it seems that none of the long or short conditions have been met during the Baptist period. I go back to the source code, and set the RSI time frame to 1 hour. I do this using the request function. Now we see that 91 trades have been done in the period of one and a half months, but the profit chart is not good at all. Again, I go back to the source, and set the moving averages time frame to one hour. By doing this, the profit chart becomes much better than before and the percentage of profitable trades reaches 69%, but it is still not good enough. This time, I change the RSI source to OHLC4. The profit chart gets better again, and the number of wins reaches about 73%. Now I want to backtest the strategy in the two year period with the current settings. When I backtest this strategy over a two year period, the profit chart is green, but it has fallen sharply in the middle. I go back to the source and change the Bollinger Band's length to 50, and the moving average type to RMA. I also change the source to HLC3. This time the profit chart is much better, and the number of wins reaches 80%. The profit chart is rising, although it has small drops along the way. In the two-year backtest, the profit chart has improved a lot, and we don't have that sharp drop that we had before. I go to the strategy settings section and from the properties tab, I change the order size to 5% of the equity. I also change the pyramiding to zero. Now we see the results more clearly. I want to increase the efficiency of the strategy again, so I go back to the source and make changes in the stochastic source. K length should be changed to 30. And K smoothing should be changed to 3, and D smoothing to 5. With the recent changes, the profit chart becomes much better and reaches more than 92% win in 1.5 months. 40 transactions have been made in this period. When I backtest over two years, the profit chart is much better than before. We see a green rising chart that has small drops along the way, which are then compensated.
Well, so far we have considered the commission rate to be zero. Now, if I add the trading commission to the calculations, what changes will be made in the profit chart? I change the commission to 0.04%. Despite considering the trading commission, in the period of one and a half months, the profit chart does not differ much and we still have more than 92% win. Considering the transaction commission, the profit chart does not differ much in the two-year deep Baptist, and it is still rising and profitable. In the two-year Baptist, more than 67% of trades are profitable, and 723 trades have been made during this time. And these are why we have considered the trading commission as 0.04%. And that's really good. This strategy is optimized on Ethereum Classic and may not work well on other cryptocurrencies. Definitely, other settings are required for other cryptocurrencies, because the behavior of cryptocurrencies is not similar to each other. On the other hand, the results of a strategy in the future may be different from the past, and we cannot say with certainty that a strategy will work in the future like the Baptist. This was just a study to code step by step a strategy in PineScript, and try to continuously improve it until the results are acceptable in the short and long term. Can this strategy be made even better? Definitely yes. But it needs more time and more work on it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell, to get notification whenever I upload new videos.